acceleration. Uh, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Another way of thinking about it is the rate at which you increase your velocity or decrease your velocity. If you will, it's the rate at which you speed up or slow down, or it's the change of velocity you experience every second, or the delta v per delta t. So we have the equation written in several manners. Let's start off the words. Acceleration is change in velocity per change in time. Or you could write it as delta v over delta t. And you can express the delta v as the final speed minus the initial speed per unit time. Again, it's the rate at which you speed up or slow down. Acceleration is a vector. Acceleration could be positive or negative. Uh, in one dimensional, we need the sign. Uh, the accelerations that we talk about in this course will always be steady or constant, and that keeps things nice and simple. So there's no need to differentiate between average and instantaneous values because they'll be the same. Uh, the equation for average velocity will provide us some insight as to what the units are. Delta V is the change in speed, which carries units of meters per second. And delta T is time, so accelerations could be expressed as meters per second per second or meters per second squared. And if you look at the units for acceleration, they include two base units, distance or displacement, which is meters, and time is seconds. So it's again, you're combining fundamental base units, length and time, to come up with a new thing, a new quantity, acceleration, which is a derived unit.